Scan, scan, Jack, scan. <laughs> Unload units, like one of My the guys. My shots are fucked Shut the fuck up! I don't fucking know how to play shit, kid! <laughs> <laughs> good start for future and then it's not it's like no <laughs> when we say it is like most of the time it is you know we don't get paid to lie <laughs> no but well, i think we get paid to try and analyze these games it is very difficult to do so <laughs> <laughs> yeah zombie grub please explain why did the terran not win is protos really that imbalanced well, that is the easiest reasoning, isn't it? <laughs> uh, perhaps Estrella is just imbalanced. He uh, seems to do this against a lot of different players, not mm -hmm. just Future. And, uh, I mean, it's it's not even about, like, punching up or down. Out with it. Give me the sip, right? Sound? We're running out of minerals back home. Your base is under attack again. CC's upgrade. Fueled up, ready to go. Go, go, go. Go for it. Oh! oh. We require more minerals. <laughs> Just like old times. Yeah, it reminds me of the, like, riding a bike scene from the beginning of Heroes of the Storm with Jim and Kerrigan. I think we just need a version of that scene, except it's Tychus instead. Just think, there could be an alternate universe where, instead of Tychus dying, they have a bromance for the rest of StarCraft and Kerrigan is gone instead. Just take every single scene in the entire game and replace it with Tychus. Uh oh. I believe in you. Yeah, Tychus is the one that is glowing yellow naked and kills Amon. Upcoming Saturday, I will be streaming, co streaming on the Moist Chip XX Twitch channel. Now, you might be thinking, Kevin, why are you simping for women? Well, she's my girlfriend, and she wanted to be coached. I told her I had better things to do, but she explained to me that really I had nothing better to do. I agreed. Actually, they have nothing better. To do. Actually, getting a little bit of flashback. It's not, it's not feeling so great. I was there when I was casting Hero Marine. Uh, I forget who the Protoss was. Oh, Goblin. Goblin. Was actually, yeah, yes. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, yeah, just like a good old fashioned late game TVP. Everyone's doing their thing. It's going to be great. And then over in the blink of an eye. Uh, that's I'm a little scared of. So. I'm bringing that up because I do think it's a map that can play to a similar stage as the last one. Again, late game TVP, but the terrain of this map is like, I mean, you see a bunch of wood of mines and a medevac about to fly over, and wood of mines, <laughs> injuring that phoenix quite severely. Um, 
yeah, then maybe you continue building it, and maybe there's a hiccup because you wanted to afford that robo as fast as possible. Either way, I think you're right about you know making sure to keep it strong on two bases. You know, sometimes when we see this Colossus opener with the Phoenix, it's kind of like you can be super greedy and get forges plus a Nexus. <laughs> you can be kind of greedy and get a Nexus but no forges, and then you can be like really safe by just sticking on two bases for a while and getting the forges. Your tech is very very late. Like the Stargate goes down four minutes and five seconds into the game. Which obviously means that it's going to take even longer for Showtime to get an actual proper army out. I wouldn't be surprised if Showtime would play like Phoenixes and Zealots this game, rather than going for like uh, maybe Oracles into a robotic stack or Blink Stalkers. Like Phoenix Zealot is not something I feel that suits Showtime's style, but I actually think it would be the best choice in a game like this. And there was a couple of months there where Showtime was specifically only doing things we wouldn't expect of him. Like, only cheese. Did the Reaper come from, like, this direction and literally slide in as my aliens were moving to the left? Oh my god, that's what happened. 